Just like the nav bars we've seen at the beginning of the last video in the Bootstrap documentation. Back over in this component section on the left hand side, we also have a link to carousels too. So we'll click on the carousel link on here. And then again, if we scroll down, we can see various examples from the code. So here's a simple example here, which is just the code below it. If we scroll down to the version which says with captions, so here's the indicators here, which we'll be adding soon. But we want this version here with the captions. So there's a little bit of text about each image. This is going to be similar to the one we're going to be building. So we'll have these captions and also these indicators to click between the various slides. So let's go over to our index page. And then at the top of this header element, let's make some space for our carousel. So first let's add a surrounding div tag. Then inside here, we're going to add some bootstrap classes. The first one is going to be of carousel. And then the second one of slide. We also add a data ride attribute. And this is going to be equal to carousel. The data ride attribute of carousel tells Bootstrap to automatically play the carousel once the page is loaded. Inside of here, we're going to add a second div nested in the middle. And this is going to have the class of carousel inner. This class of carousel inner is going to act as a wrapper for our slides or images, which we're going to add now. So let's add our first div for our first slide. This is going to have a class and this is carousel item. And then inside of here, we can add our image that we want to display inside the carousel. The image also has a class two and this is going to be W-100. W100 is a bootstrap utility class to set the image width to be 100% of the container. We can then add the source for our image, which is our images folder, and then the image of carousel1.jpg. Then an alt attribute with some text, and I'm just going to set the text to be first slide for now. Okay. So that's our first div for the first carousel item. If we copy this section, we can add one more in just below. This is going to take in the same classes, but all we need to do is change this to be our second image of carousel two. Okay, so over to the browser and then to our index page. If we refresh, we don't get anything shown on the screen. This is because one of our images needs to have the active class added. This will enable the slideshow to appear and it will begin with the slide with this active class rather than in the source order. So back over to the code, just after one of these carousel items, we can add active, save that and then refresh. Okay, good. So this is the first slide that we see here. And now we can see straight away that this is working. When we looked at the examples on the Bootstrap website, we also mentioned adding captions to these slides. We can add these in for each image section. So back over to our carousel item, and then we can add this just after the image. So let's make some space under here. And then we can add a div, which is going to surround our caption section. This needs a bootstrap class and this is descriptive. This is carousel caption. And remember, if you want to know exactly what CSS any of these classes is applying, just head over to the browser and go into the developer tools and you can see in more detail. Okay, so let's add a level five heading and this is going to be for the title of the caption. So I'm going to add made to order for this first image. And then below just a standard P tag with some text of using only the finest ingredients. Okay, good. Let's make a little bit more space here. If you do see any issues when going through this bootstrap section, 
just make sure that all the nesting is done correctly. Make sure that, for example, this carousel caption is just below the image. And this section is all nested inside of this carousel item and so on. This is usually the biggest cause of any coding problems when working with Bootstrap. And also the classes being applied to the wrong element. So now let's go ahead and scroll down to the second image. So the second image inside of this carousel item, we're going to add the surrounding div, just like before. This also has the same class of carousel caption. A H5 to keep this consistent with the text of over 50 types on our menu. And then below this, our standard P element with the text of or build your own. Okay, so there's our two captions for our two images. Let's see this in action over in the browser. Okay, good. There's our made to order level five heading and the text just below. If we move off this, hopefully we'll see a rotation. And there we go. So there's our second one with the caption down at the bottom. Good, this image carousel is now working and starting to look good. In the next video, we'll add some left and right buttons so we can skip through these images.